Hello, okay, this is part two. I'm gonna make a second paintbrush. Okay, so I have my squirrel hair. My squirrel fur. Now this one I'm gonna try I'm gonna try making it shorter. You see I've already made this one, which is long. I'm gonna try making a shorter one. I find if I touch it, it gets all over my fingers. Which I don't want to do. Now the top of my wood is right up here. Okay, so now we'll use our metal. I think you could use a tin can. Tin cans, I think in the United States, they might be thicker than the ones in Canada. a squirrel out there on the roadside, a roadkill squirrel, who has a t poodle tail. His life would go on. Okay. I decided I don't like tin snips. That's not new though, I never have. Yeah, I should be able to bend this more.
should get fat like that on the end. I wonder about getting those pinch things that you use for jewelry. Okay, let me see if I can trim this. Now you could make this with string, with twine. That's the way they did say how to do it on eHow. Or you could use a hot glue gun. See my stick is pointing out there. Okay, so we have two tries. A fluffy paintbrush and a very narrow paintbrush. Let's try another one. Now this is rabbit. This is a rabbit tail. But let's go back here. Okay. I guess this must be bamboo. Okay, now here I have a little bit of rabbit fur. There was a dead rabbit on the road, so I removed some of his fur from him. Now while you're watching, you can probably see better way to do this.
The thing about using twine is that once you get it in the paint, you're not going to be able to clean your twine. Let me try another little piece of this. I suppose I could work with smaller tools. Let me get my smaller tools. Tweezers would probably be good for working with this also. I'm going to push it right against it now. If I hold this against this side, can't really do that. How about I didn't bring over those curved ones. I want to hold this here, and then I want to bend this part around. rabbit fur. A rabbit hair paintbrush. When you have a tiny paintbrush though, you really want it to be aimed together. But I guess when you wet the fur, when you wet them, they will go together more, won't they? It'd be better if they were already together, wouldn't it? 
but they will dry and then they will be firm. Okay, so those are my three so far. Rabbit, squirrel, squirrel. I don't like having cut them like that. How about if I line up the tops instead of lining up the bottoms? And you see, these are fatter at the end than they are at the top. Okay, so we do it again the same way. Flatten them out and put a little glue on our stick. use a flat end this time.
look at we have a ladybug these are the Chinese ladybugs they bite fly away home well or drop off whatever you like Good old metal fatigue. Look at it snowing out there. Beautiful. Today is March the something or other. March the 21st, I think. The 18th, Thursday. Okay. This is very tough metal. I want to put this shiny side out. You understand, don't you? I could probably do better if I was using a smaller piece of um, metal, but cutting it is so hard to do. I'll leave that to the pros. very nice. All right, I have now got a fat brush and a skinnier brush, rabbit and squirrel. 
a long one that is kind of thin. I don't think I like this one very much. But there we go. There we have it. Some paintbrushes. I'm going to make more. This is exciting, isn't it? I never knew I could make a paintbrush. I never knew. But hold on. I got to go press the button. Here we go. easy. And so it was. You can do this at home. Bye.